Uh, we're here with Terrence, Terrence Robinson of Cornell University. Um, he's, he's talked today a little bit about um, tall spindle systems. So you think tall spindle is the way U.S. fruit growers should go? I do. It really has a lot of positive advantages that uh, combine high economic productivity but ease of management. So I think for most commercial apple growers, it really is the direction we should be headed. Okay. Is it more for eastern side of the country or western or both? Or? I think it applies in both places, but there's a slight different direction that many of the western growers have gone. They're concerned about sunburn a lot more than we are in the east. And so this system allows branches to bend naturally, and they worry a little bit about that. In my opinion, it's an overblown worry, and there are some very good Washington State growers that have adopted this system that are doing quite well with it. Okay. Uh, how many growers are using tall spindle right now? Well, I know primarily for New York State, in which we really started pushing this about five years ago with two growers. It's grown to somewhere between 40 and 50 growers that have planted this. So there's been a tremendous uh, investment in new orchards by these 40 to 50 growers in the last several years. And it's just really amazing to me how many, many growers have adopted it. Now, it's still on a small percent of their acreage because it takes a long time to replant uh, these 200, 300 acre uh, apple farms. Yeah. What, uh, what are some of the bigger challenges to tall spindle? Well, one of the big challenges, of course, it's a fairly high investment system. And so growers initially feel like, wow, this is pretty expensive. But as they get their feet wet with it, and particularly with new varieties where the price is high, the returns in year two, three, and four are so good that they've gotten quite enthused about it. But still, capital is the main limitation to adopting it in a big scale.